ek het hier na die waterval gekom wanneer ek bedruk voel en wanneer ek richting nodig het en dat ek net tyd met die heren spandeer en met myself spandeer om te kyk wat die richting nou. Kyk hoe val die water by die waterval en het val die, die dam. En dit is hoe in die lewe ook jy loop leeg en jy, jy moet weer gevul word. Dis hoe ek kom dat die heilige geest my weer kan vul. When things were difficult in your marriage, mm -hmm. where did you go to for support? Uh, that was the time that I gave my heart to the Lord. And I was just praying, reading scripture. And uh, I mean, that was the only support I had. Because as a Catholic, I was not supposed to divorce. So now you can imagine what other support. <laughs> I had no support. There was resistance to your yeah, divorce? Yeah, yeah. For me was that, um, ek moes a besluit maak, gaan ek my hele lewe maar so aan karren, of gaan ek a happy mens voor? Want ek wil met allemaal lach, en ek wil nie ongemakkelijk wees as ek met mense is nie, en ek sal nooit myself kon wees nie, ek wil die lach in my lewe weer terug sit. But, the priest and the mission worker, they loved me so much, so they never pointed the finger to me, and they supported me at the end. As ek dink aan um, vir al na my eegscheiding, dat ek so bekommerd was, dat ek hier huis het vir my kinders nie. En dat dit my ook gemotiveer het om meer opofferings te maak, dat ek net vir my kinders huis kreeg het op die stadie mens aan my gedink nie. En vandag is het vir my lekker om te sien dat ek het <laughs> een huis wat myne is. <laughs> en uh, dat ek weet waar vandag sy brood vandaan kom, en dat ek my kinders kon laat studeer, en dat hulle die wereld kon reis, Ik hou van, as hulle allemaal by die huis is, dan, dan floreer ek. Amen. Having her family around her is Sandra's greatest joy. She never gave up being a mom in order to succeed as a businesswoman. My mother was really busy, but when she came home in the evenings, she came late and she still cooked. There's not one evening that I can say my mother didn't cook because she said she was too tired to cook. When she got home, she put her bags on the table and she'll start cooking. And then, uh, then she'll get all our lunches ready for um, the morning. She'll go to bed, but very late. But I never heard my mother complaining once. She, she did what she could do. And um, that's what was amazing for me about my mother, that she um, never complained about what she had to do and she just did it. I know it was hard for you because you were a single mom and you were working and you also became very, very involved in work when you started your construction company. Yeah. Your <laughs> children hardly saw you. <laughs> and then one day your youngest daughter sent you an email that made mm -hmm. you take stock and change your life. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the email and what changed. Joandra, the youngest one, she went to Germany to study there. And then she wrote me an email about myself. And I was so shocked because she said in, in her email that, um, Mommy, I want you to enjoy your life because all the years it was about us, about your family, your colleagues, the community. And now I left the house, I want you to be happy. So do the things that makes you happy. Take the time that you spend with me for yourself. When you go into a shop and you want to buy something pink, buy it for you. 
And I took, I mean, it, I, I, I took it so seriously that day. And I realized that it is the truth, that I, it was all my years about everyone and not about me. Then I started to put me first. And uh, I started to walk in the mornings because that was the time that I have to drop her at school. And I started to, to do things for myself. I was like pampering myself. And it was so good. And I felt so good. And today I'm still feeling good about it. <laughs> when I got back, I saw my mother. She um, lost a lot of weight and she was dressing up all the time. And uh, normally I'm the one that dresses up and my mother was dressed up more than I was. <laughs> and I really saw that she's really, um, she's really changed. She was like a different person when I came back. She focused on herself a bit more than normal. Maak nie saak waar vanaf jy kom, waar die Heer jy gegaan het nie. En mense omstandig jy dan moet nie, jou beperk nie. En ons moet ook nie omstandig jy dan blijm nie. Want jy kom by jou punt waar jy een besluit moet maak. Vir die voordeel of vir die nadeel. Maak nie saak wat alles met jou gebeur nie, of, of wat van wat de kante af jy uh, die wind kry nie. Jy moet focus en dan kan jy jou droom bereik. <tie>